Hello and thanks for watching this new episode of RTV with me, Rizal Sadeli. Today I'll be showing you how you can create a very nice Apple slash Mac X logo in Photoshop. So, you want to open up Photoshop and choose a background. So I'm using the default Snow Leopard wallpaper as my background for my X logo. And once you've dragged your background into Photoshop, you're going to go to your text layer and type a big X. Now the font that you want to use is called Myriad Pro and make sure you've got it selected to bold make sure the size is something very big so it, the size really depends on what resolution you're using make sure it's selected to smooth and also make, make sure the color is black then click on the tick and make sure you're selected on the text layer then hit control A then go to the move tool and center it horizontally and vertically then hit control D to deselect all and then right click on the text layer, the X layer then go to blending options then go to drop shadow make sure the distance is selected to 0 pixels and make sure the size is selected to something around 60 pixels so 60 and then go to gradient overlay make sure the opacity is select selected to something around 10 to 20 percent so 15 percent and uh, make sure the angle angle is selected to minus 90 degrees then go to stroke make sure the fill type is selected to gradient and make sure the style is selected to angle and the angle is 178 so you get a really nice sharp edge right here and um, then go and click on the gradient don't actually click on the arrow click on the gradient here add a little click here and add a color which is quite dark around something there and just drag it up and also oops that was a little mistake and then change the color of this one right at the end to something a little bit darker and then click OK and then click OK and finally click OK in the layer style dialog box and uh, this is what you shall get now it does look very nice very 3D but there is one thing missing from the actual logo you know that the real logo that you know looks obviously quite cool it's a shine effect that goes right across the X and that is quite easy to make so what you, what you have to do is make a selection festival so go to your freeform pen tool and then click on this button here and click around the center to the left so around here and then click here click and hold here and <clears throat> just bend it up to something around here and then just go around the shape <clears throat> And then right click and then and then go to make selection and uh click OK. Then go to your X layer, the text layer, then go to your magic wand tool, and then go to subtract two and just click anywhere outside the X, make a new layer, and fill this new layer with black, I mean white, fill it with white, and uh, then control D to deselect all, then go to up here and go to soft light and that's really pretty much it and uh, as you can see it does look quite cool and you've got the whole shine effect and the nice stroke on the outside on the outside of the X and also the drop shadow you can also change the background to whatever you like and uh, once you've done editing yours you can go to file save as and save it to your desktop and use it as a wallpaper maybe so um, thanks for watching this episode of RTV with me, Rizal Sadeli, and see you next time, and bye-bye. So here you can fan the page on Facebook, you can ask me a question at formspring.me, and you can also follow me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash RizalTV.